and know something's wrong. It seems like someone's trying to steal our identity. What do you mean? Pioneering and universally renowned novelist Jane Austen. <laughs> well, famous author and friend of mine, Oscar Wilde. <laughs> I was reading my comments on my Amazon account the other day. Yeah. One of them said, I love the part where Mr. Darcy comes out of the water for. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? Well, I didn't write that. And Pygmalion had a similar one. Great story, particularly the informative song about the predictable nature of the weather on the Iberian Peninsula. <laughs> well, what do you think's happening? I think something, or perhaps someone, is corrupting the minds of authors everywhere. Our own, here in the collective consciousness, could be in serious danger. But how? The internet, I think, and TV, and, and the internet is ruining concentration Imagination and concentration. You just said concentration. Did I? Did what? I'm not sure. Oh look, a squirrel! <laughs> that ain't a squirrel, it's a low cat! <laughs> God, we are in trouble. Oh, it's starting to affect us all, even the classics. No one is safe. <coughs> Surely not everyone. I mean, clearly the writer of this sketch. Far too intelligent to be corrupted so easily. <laughs> oh. Prepare to die. He did! Who are you? We are the Kindle. <laughs> Our aim is to purify language into its simplest and most logical form. I have been sent to destroy all books in the collective consciousness and then binary will reign supreme. Ha 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 ha. Is that a. Ha ha ha. Is that a water pistol? Ha uh, ha. Uh, yes. Filled with E ink. A gun is a real gun, is a horribly inefficient way to destroy a book. Prepare for complete obscurity. Oh my god! What are we going to do? Uh, oh, it looks like our sketch has been affected! Oh, oh my goodness, what are we doing now? Alright. All right, it looks like the writer is struggling to distinguish between the real world and the fictional world. So let's defeat him using post-structuralism. Have you heard of the theoretical concept, death of the author? Of course I have. Have you really? No. no. <laughs> Allow me to paraphrase. It can be argued that the literary validity of a literary work should be considered entirely independent of the author's personal experience. Right, so what you mean is all we have to do is convince, or well, to prove that the author is revealing something about himself and then a sketch will naturally implode. Well, it's worth a shot. Oh. Tell me, uh, excuse me, tell me, was it lonely growing up? Being surrounded by so many books, having no clear identity of your own. Well, that's an awfully big war pistol you have there. Tell me, how does it make you feel? <laughs> is, is there a Mrs. Kindle? I mean, it must be bloody hard work going for up to 30 days. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God! Let's embrace our identity! <laughs> <laughs> I will never know true love. Well, that will do it. Let me show you love. Though I am but a machine, let me love you in my own hard, mechanical, tireless, robotic way. Oh, yeah. Actually, all right. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, I got it. Come in, all right. Come in, darling. <laughs> Oscar? 